the madman. Haven't played Arena this season yet, haven't played much Arena last season, but I got the Crash Course. Apparently, this particular season of Arena is all about value, which is great news for me. I'm gonna go with Volcano Sore. Keep it up. Man, I love Headhunter's Hatchet myself. But, oh, I will say one thing that they crash coursed me on. They said that you get offered a lot of two drops in Arena, so you don't have to pick the two drops. I'll go with that. Seems good. Whew. Oh man, Desert Spear. I know of its power from Constructed, so yeah, it looks good. Stormwind Champ. You got the Glacial Shard. Ooh, finally time to figure out how good Wasteland Assassin is in Arena. Is it time to figure that out? Nah, I'm just gonna pick Galactic Crawler. Give each player a copy of a random card from their opponent's deck. I like 3 mana, 3 force. I'm really surprised by the low uh, win rate number on this Drakari Trickster. I'm gonna look this up. Played win rate. Oh, that's the played win rate. I see. So this, uh, this middle number is actually useless. Why would anyone judge a card based off of played win rate? That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with Drakari Trickster here. I like tricking people. Hunters don't have much card draw, so giving each player a card is probably a good thing. This one I think is really close. I'll lean towards Grievous Spite, I like the tricks. Ooh, another Desert Spear. If you control a beast, gain taunt. Well, I'm gonna often control a beast. Oh, well, the Apprentice for Boisterous Bard. Boisterous Bard is a little bit better because I have Desert Spear. I think that might be the tiebreaker for Boisterous Bard here. Oh! <laughs> Hello. Okay, so obviously not Faurus. Reno Hunter. All I have for Duplicate is Desert Spear. That's pretty awesome. Reno Hunter! Desert Spear Synergy. For the 3 mana, 3-3 three, three taunt. Blah. Maybe I'll get another weapon. Who knows? Wasteland Assassin? Sure. A 5 drop. Crusader versus Disciple. Disciple is always such a pain. I have so many 3 drops. Definitely Disciple. Explosive shot, I have to imagine. Oh, I see a Basilisk though. And I have Remkin and Wild Tamer. I have 1, 2, Three beasts so far? I don't want more beasts. Anyway, I'll go with the Basilisk. Feature, but I have no spell, so that's just a 4 mana 3 5. In this case, probably Defender then. Oh, Flanking Strike is in the set. That's an insane card. Top tier pack. Nesting Rock, Amani Warbear. Okay, I already picked a Basilisk. I think because I have Reno, I go with the second best. Ooh, that's a tough one. I'm gonna go with the Beetle. Try to draft Singleton, pretty much. The Reno is so- oh, actually, wait! Quicksand Elemental. Whoa, what am I doing? Quicksand Elemental, absolutely. Oh, yeah. That's a card that I thought might make it in the Constructed, but... Uh, baited. I'm building my, uh, Highlander deck. Power Creeper, because I already have a Basilisk. Tomb Spider is kind of nice. Oh, very creepy. Tundra Rhino. Yeah, my curve's looking really good. <laughs> Third Desert Spear. Uh, unleash the Hounds. Eight mana, five, five. I think not. Five mana, three, six. Okay, three drops, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not counting the hounds, that's enough three drops. Is this an aggressive deck? It seems like I'm be gonna be playing a mid-range deck that can be aggressive because I can just heal back up with Reno if we decide to trade for face, both of us. So that would imply Wandering Monster is fun since I'm not gonna be trading. The problem with Wandering Monster is sometimes, you know, they don't hit your face because they're hitting your stuff. And I've got all the stuff to trade with the Desert Spear. I think it's Shroom Brewer. Another Money War Bear. Last pick. I think in this case, just have. Yeah, and also, this is a useful ability. Alright. 
Okay. Um, I think I got slightly lower buckets. It's hard to say because I don't really have much of a baseline to go off of. But I think it's a really cool Reno deck with um, all one of us except Desert Spear, which is a strong card. You asked for it. Let the hunt begin. Throw back expensive <laughs> cards so you can draw them later. So true. Yeah, my Reno's active. Alright, well. I can count to four. You're That's a good sign. So you get the coin. Use it wisely. I think in this case it would be right to skip yeah, that's a useful battle cry. Let's skip the chase. Hmm. Nice card in your deck. Four drop is really strong and my three drop is strong, and he's played a slow three drop, so it's looking good. We're gonna be rich. I think the strength of Reno in this deck isn't that, you know, I don't really have a way to come back in this deck, as this is a hunter deck, and I don't really have any, you know, swing spells other than Unleash the Hounds, so it's just mainly going to heal me, and I can, uh, it lets me use the Desert Spear really aggressively, I guess. I can either play, well, yeah, of course, this one. Like, do I need to deal three damage? No, I only need to deal two damage. Brilliant. Oh, flanking? It seems like my next turn is likely flanking Ritualist. I'll just play this. Pass. That is such a good desert spear target. If only I can get through. I can get through. This is awesome. Oh, what a turn. I am disgust. Fill your three drop with one charge of my three charge weapon. What a turn. Look how it burns. I think I play the Basilisk uh, when I'm favored on the board. Hey, I got you, friend. Hmm. Runs out on me. I think I send. Well, maybe I just go face. Beast. Let's stone skin basilisk. That's the oh crawler. Do I trade into the three six? No, I think I can get a lot of damage in right now. I like doing damage. I think I play crawler and then I play a tamer, so I copy the basilisk, which is a good card. There's no need to clear his minions. I hate to overextend against a card like flame strike though. Do I really worry about flame strike? That's so much damage. It's mm -hmm. nine damage. Yeah, we. Want to hit the face. Easy, I think there's an overarching theory of. I was gonna say, like, an overarching theory of don't worry about flame strike. It's only one card, but it just depends, is the answer. It depends. Let 
The one thing I definitely have to keep in mind with this deck is I shouldn't be afraid to play Reno Jackson because if I fall behind on the board, I'm not going to take it back with this deck, usually. So it is basically a 6 mana 4 6 with just like very minor benefits. But it was the minor enough, the minor benefits are perhaps enough to play it. I really hope the rogue plays a pirate on turn one. That'd be nice. Is a uh, is Swash Burglar in this set? Let's see. So close to being Swash Burglar. These cards came a little bit too early. Trail. I just need to draw perfectly the next three turns. Three drop, four drop, five drop, and then we're set. Reality. Cards. Skip turn three and four, that can't be good. Let the opponent skip turn four. Good to get this bad draw to the way against this early opponent. Look what I found. Created by Mimic Pod. Guess what that means? Is one of the cards in their hand. I want to grievous bite this card. But that is a 2 mana spell that's a 6 play. And let's play card 2, I suppose. Hmm, hate to let it hit my... Hmm. Maybe the right play is Wasteland Assassin. I can take the damage because I have Reno, but it's not active right now. Do not want to let those uh, 1 health guys get value while I have a Grievous Bite in hand. A place to hide. I'm bound to draw Desert Spear or Unleash the Hounds or something to take advantage of my one health healing. And of course Grievous Bite. I can just punch the Bone Wraith and then Grievous Bite the 2-5 I guess. Not great, but the thing. Bug Collector. Bug Collector Grievous Bite. That's not great. Amani Warbear, I can take the damage again, probably. And then play uh, this and that next turn. 5 7, punch, 4 2 into the 2 1, that'd be terrible. For mana efficiency, sick. I hate these plays, but what can you do? What an annoying bone ray. I like the curve on this deck so much, I just happen to not draw any 3s or 4s. I haven't realized this, but Grievous Spite is so much better with all these Reborn cards. Still an Arena Rookie. Alright, Grievous Spite's gonna be pretty solid here. And if I draw a Desert Spear, that Reno Jackson's actually gonna be Valley this game. Please trade, please come in. Do it. Ah. Oh. Play big guy. Oh, no taunt. 
Does it matter that I don't have Todd? Not really right now. Away, intruder! Such a scary situation. Only caused by... What the? What are you doing? So if I play Quicksand Elemental, I can uh, trade against Nightblade, I suppose. That is, uh, you know, if he doesn't take down Cartoon Defender, which he should have, but chose not to. So that's good for me, also. Alright, I got a good turn here. I hate to do the 8 8 into the 6 4, but it's necessary. I hadn't thought about getting the free one damage, so that's kind of nice. Artoot's giving me six health, so while I'm pretty low, it's not as good as it looks. Place to hide. Eight, eleven, fourteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-two. They just killed themselves at the anime. Oh, geez. Do I have it? Three into that, five, eight, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen. I'm still one off. I think that means my best line is to trade a bunch. By the way, it didn't work. So many Place to hide. Saved by the hatchling. Babe. I'm getting this uh, played win rate so much higher. Oh. I've got two mana, three, two. That's good enough to keep. It's like, it's a shame to not use it to its full extent, but good enough. I might coin out Basilisk. I'll probably coin out Basilisk. Ooh, if I coin out Basilisk and follow it up with Quicksand Elemental, that might allow Basilisk to cheat another attack. Oh, cheat out wild or play wild tamer, get a uh, basilisk. That's pretty good. Or an Amani War Beast, I guess. I'm honestly not sure which one I would have preferred. It's close. If I play Quicksand Elemental, I get to keep a 4-1. That's pretty good against Priest. But there's the uh, there's the Theory of Curve. And I am a subscriber to the Theory of Curve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then the question is face or not. If I go face, you could buff this and I'd be very sad. So I'll, I'll trade in this case. It's a, uh, that turn really depended on if you're a subscriber to the Theory of Curve, because I could have a 4-1 and a 3-2, but instead I have a Stoneskin Basilisk. Embrace the void. But hey, I kind of like having a Stoneskin Basilisk on this turn. Let's play... 
another stone skin basilisk. And it appears the opponent will just throw their value cards into it, so why not? Two mana draw basilisk. Ooh, look at that value. No divine shield loss. I don't think plus one health actually matters on one health minions. And then this one has the vengeance. So let me just summon more guys. Look what I found. I'm like everyone's biggest fan. Plus one health doesn't matter on these. And I'm just gonna play Faceless Lurker in its face. Yeah, that's fine. Basilisks don't care about how much your minions have gotten buffed. Basilisks don't care, you. Bask in my radius. Basilisk deals 10 damage. That's pretty good. I think I'll take it. And I'll take this 5 4 also. It's Plantosaur. This guy's like, poisonous? That's cheating! You know, it can't, so the... Not only are the initial games, of course, easier because it's a, uh, you know, only a two wins. But I'm in the newbie pool. That said, there's also a bunch of other competitors playing right now, but we dodged them in the first two games. That's pretty sweet. Or I could say, good strategy. Keep a 3 mana 3 4 in my opening hand. Let's see. Better cards. Well, better slash. It's one of my best 3 drops. But perhaps better cards. Ramkahan Wild Tamer, Basilisk, Tar Creeper, Desert Spear, Desert Spear. Um, Quicksand, Neferset, Kalaka, Bug, Hatchling. 10 cards better. 20 cards worse. 18 cards worse because I can't get these. Nice to get a 3 drop. I'll keep. Point Totem. That's usually followed up by Flame Tongue Totem, but that is no longer possible after, I don't know, the year 2018, I think. Combo, Desert Spear plus Dread Corsair. I don't have to play Desert Spear right now. In fact, it's a bad play. I should develop the board. Don't pick. Am I, missing? Oh, I see your play! Your deck is a totem deck! Brilliant! Oh, Splitting X, Dread Corsair combo. Oh, that's actually a... Wait, that is... Eh, that's a combo. I wonder... So, probably play it as a 5 play. I'm actually, hmm, yeah, yeah. I don't want to use the charge. If I play this, cost one less per attack of your weapon. 
I don't have... Next turn I'm playing Tundra right now, so it's not like I'm playing Drick right now. I'll just equip this. Yeah, that's a good turn. Not a great turn, but that's a turn. Hey, too slow. One mana is too much for Dread Corsair this turn. Yes! Kill the 2 2 instead of the 3 2. Brilliant? I wonder if he's playing. I wonder if he's doing that for a specific reason. Of course not. I'm gonna try to get Veli out of Ramkahin. Wild Tamer. Charging Locust. Veli? I hunt alone. Hey, too slow. I'm playing Tempo Reno next turn. Arena's full. Beat it. I did do it wrong, I took one more damage than I needed to. Wait, damage doesn't matter, I'm playing Tap Arena. Eh, maybe not. Ah, yes I am. Imagine the... Splitting X? Double healing totem combo. You could have four healing totems. That's incredible. It's a card that's sadly not a beast. This is what League of Explorers. In today's day, it would not only be a beast, it would probably have something extra. Back in our day, our 8 mana 8 8s only had taunt if we met a condition. Oh, nice. Get these off of me! Alright. Wild Tamer, get me the valley. Easy there. Oof, so good. Take a moment to think about Shaman's AoE. Let me look it up. One moment. Okay, so we're in Volcano and Murloc Land. I'll just pass. One attack isn't gonna do anything. Actual charging war bear. Very scary. Back in my day, Jeweled Scarab could discover Hex.
I have to imagine that percent rich list is such a beast arena card. I feel bad playing it on turn two, but you shouldn't feel bad about playing a two minute two three on turn two. Back in my day. This board was fascinating. I was about to say, uh-oh, we got an opponent who knows what they're doing. They're trading their 2-1 and the hero power into my 2-3. But no. <laughs> no. Oof, the, uh... New player account bonus for Arena is real. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Basilisk! I'm afraid you've been cut down by the mighty desert spear. That's against the rules. I must safeguard the map. Wow, you got my taunt. Oh no. <laughs> I like to imagine that I'm blowing this in you guys' mind like, He hit my guy for one damage? What a newbie! Ugh, this guy hates taunt. Loves going face. I think I'm not gonna play Trickster to give him an out. And yeah, Desert Spear hit the face. 2-1, 1-1 to 4-3. Loss? Ultra? Is there anything in my deck if I gave him that I'd be sad about? Oh, well, I guess I won then. The answer to the first question was no. Ooh, we got the active Reno. But again, I'm not trying to get the healing value out of it. But it is good to know I can go crazy with the Desert Spear. Hit those Magma Ragers with the Desert Spear. It's all good. <laughs> Imagine a three mana two one. You know, it's actually not a bad play sometimes. It's a tempo play. There's conceivably a hand the priest can hold that that play makes sense. Let the pain speak to me. Copy a spell in your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. I have so few spells that I should know what that is. I have Unleash in my hand, I have my deck, Flanking Strike, Bitted Arrow. That's a shame. My uh, cards in deck. Spells in deck. They're not a lot, so I just have three really good ones. Uh, let's just play the Faceless Lurker here. Try to limit that draw to one. 
In case he got hounds, I'll not hit here. As long as it keeps out arrows. So I can think a bit on what um, card he took because, I mean, he would have played certain spells there, I think. Baited Arrow would have been a decent card to play. Flanking Strike. Baited, I, I could see him not playing any of them on that turn. It's so impossible that's unleashed, I don't want to create one more 1-1. One, one. He probed me! I'm scared. Time for the Wind Fury charge plus attack command. Or do I have lethal? 3, 5, 8, 9, 10, 12. Uh, darn. It's a 2 drop, a 3 drop, and a 4 drop. I'm not restoring any health, so I don't want to keep a 4 mana 4-4. Four, four, even though it's on curve. Now that card, that's a good card. When I actually think about it, maybe I should have kept the 4 mana 4-4. Four, four. There's not that many cards on 4 that I could have played that are better than a 4-4. Four, four. This is definitely one of them. Flanking Strike and Tomb Spider are also good ones. But in the grand scheme of things, I probably shouldn't have kept it. Because there were only two cards that were better. Yeah, I should have kept it. But I got lucky. Feels good. This desert spear is carrying the arena really hard. Cursed Disciple is so good against Warlock. The dream! I trickster him, I get a beast, and then I copy the beast with the Wild Tamer. This Desert Sphere value, though. Get my uh, Discount Dread Corsair on. I said this when I reviewed Fossilized Devastor. Back in the day, we did do Trump reviews, League of Explorers, and I remember saying, really? They couldn't have made this a beast at the very least? Uh, looking at these cards. Fun memories. Ooh. That's a good one. I actually should play this first because the nightmare is I get a beast from him, and then it copies that instead. Uh, my deck is useless, unless he gets Reno Jackson, but then it's probably not active. Don't blink. You might miss your door. This card, your highest card, wow. Add two copies of it. Woo! Oh, a little bit late to the uh, Desert Spear destruction. Imagine just missing Spear number one, and being too early for Spear number two. Oh, 
on. I don't need any of you. So fitting that Desert Spear will win the game for me in the finale. Ah, oh, not yet. Oh, so sad if Expired Merchant gets silenced. And I just toss Fossilized Del- Oh my! That's the ultimate value! It is healed for 6 and 5. 11. That's at 214. That's really good. I just like imagining he busts out Reno Jackson, created by Drakari Trickster. No, don't. It's still good. The stuff of nightmares. Sounds like Basilisk, not great against Rogue. Get myself my star card, Desert Spear. Can actually curve Desert Spear into Dread Course there. <laughs> oh, I got Galactic Crawler. Almost. <laughs> oh crap! We're up against opponents who use their weapon to kill my guys, man. This could be a tough one. I was thinking if he removes this then he can but that's fine because then I can hit the worgen and then use the rush to finish off the damage hey I got you friend it's kind of a pain obviously that's a must kill now fight Positioning. Uh, my next turn play is probably Desert Spear. So that means I think I should hit the Tar Creeper. That would bring it down to four, and then I could kill it next turn. Uh, sure. That's. Yeah, I mean, I gotta do the damage somehow. That's an aggressive use of the spear, but I know with this deck, I need to have the board, otherwise I lose. I have the only It's Good One Behind card in my deck. What am I willing to give for board control? Everything. Yeah. Star Creeper has been a beast. Put this apple on your head. Another soul to consume. What a pain. Okay, I need to get through one, six, seven health. Okay, I think I might be okay after this turn. Maybe. Oh no! Is there a way to... No, that's fine. I guess. Is there a way to do that better? No. Yes! Could've unleashed last. Wow, Reno Jackson would be actually really good.
do not have to kill that right now. I can play Stormwind Champion next year and kill it in one shot. That's probably better. Alright, pass. You love my new recipe. Are we gonna be rich? If I get taunt, is that enough? Six. Three, six. Two, five, seven, eight. What if I get taunt and plus three health? If I get a beast, that would be useful here? Can't think of any. Four mana beasts which deal two damage to everything. Does that exist? No. Turn 3 Creeper and a turn 4 Shroom Brewer. I uh, argued with myself on should I keep a 4 mana 4 4 in this deck? And the answer is yes, because my 4 drops aren't that good, pretty much. I only have 3 that are better. basically a 4-6, or I can play Dread Corsair as a 3-3. Don't get baited by Dread Corsair. Bite's pretty solid. Faceless Lurker is also pretty solid. I want to protect the 4 4 from the 3 5. The 4 2 from the 3 5. Theory of Curve. 2 1 isn't great to uh, bait a Darrow. I noticed I have to kill the Jaguar before killing the Candle Guy. But yet, I want to do it in the other order, <laughs> because of the Grievous Bite thing. But what if I Quicksand Elemental here? Is that any good? That's really good here. I have to kill this first, because the Bite needs to do the one. little hunter swipe there. I wonder. Big seven play? What's on seven? Storm Watcher. I'll show you what's on seven. I have to decide if I want well of course I'm gonna trade. And then I have to think about do I want do I want to carry the four one or the three two over? Because I can trade either one. Probably want to not give him the option to use his weapon. Yeah. I, I think the 3-2 is better than the 4-1, but it's close. Because my cards are safe under all this taunt. It's actually really close. What's better, a 3-2 or a 4-1? Also, I should have played around Betrayal. Actually, I did play around Betrayal. Whatever. That's playing around Betrayal. Trading the uh, 4 instead of the 3. It's a little bit of a tiebreaker. It's massive! But nothing that a desert spear can't bring down. Ooh, that's a good card. It even manages to bite for one more so I can uh, successfully bait it. This 1-1 one, one is a 5-5. Five, five.
Nice to curve. I see you. What are the chances I hit a pirate? I wonder. What are the pirates? I get good use of my 1-1 one, one rush, but he gets good use of his weapon. If I play the crawler, he might trade them both. That's still a good use of his weapon. Eh. Handle shot is really good here. So we will just RNG a card for both sides. Nice, no turn three play. Don't click. You might miss it. RNG a good card for both players. Easy there. Oh, oh. <laughs> you hate to see that. Yeah, it should be good tempo. That's a two. Then I can heal after. No, no need to heal yet. The dream is that he got Dread Corsair and then I play it and eat his guy, but that's silly. I'm gonna surround my damaged guy in the middle because that's the uh, Neferset Ritualist positioning. Hunters don't have that many catch up cards. Double sword is a good card. I'll play around explosive and um, grievous bite. Uh, in both cases, I want the weak minion in the middle. Oh wow! Maybe he copied the web weaver. The dream is the ritualist of value here. The pack. Hmm. That's explosive trap. The uh, fungal enchanter will be so good. good. I really should shoot him. I think I need the enchanter with that. Uh, I'm just not playing anything. Enchanter could be value. Oh, this, is this really less good than shooting him? I should just shoot him. Two damage versus, yeah. That's good enough. Save that for utility. Crushing walls is in the set. I need to but I also have to, whatever. A Lazul player. They're bound to be good, right? Let the hunt begin. Welcome. Care to hear your fortune? Greetings, traveler. Nice curve. What is that card? Can you imagine that some people, when I reviewed this card as one star, and that's that review, were like, I don't know, that's a neutral lifesteal card. Imagine Vile Fiend.
I'll, I'll give you a chance. I'll play my uh, four mana three three. I've got a heat. If you just bite it, I can choose to do nothing and just play on curve. Quicksand elemental. Keep a three one on the board. Good because I have a three with it. Theory of curve still holds. Counting on an insane card. I'm tricking him. A place to hide. Grievous Bite's gonna be able to deal with that reborn. It's gonna be really good. Ooh, Stormwind, that's really good. What a tasty Grievous Bite there. Do I want to kill the 3-5? There's no reason to. I'm do that then out. Oh, the synergy! We cheated a permanent extra health out of that. Okay. So I really do not want this to get mind stolen, controlled. Uh, do I hedge? Now I should just go for the W. Fury. Ah, perfect. Volcano Sword is pretty good with the can't be targeted by spells or hero <laughs> powers. Adapt. I want to weave the hero power each turn, I believe, but I really want to play a money war. Eh, do I want to? What if I play a money war bear in hero power? No, it's desert spears better. There. Again, I hate to get mind controlled. But well, what can you do? I am Bob, the supreme archaeologist. Five, six, seven, eight, ten. One damage? Okay. Ah, pop quiz time. What does Rafam have? The uh, deal ten damage for ten? Is it ten? Is it eight? It's eight or ten. Doesn't really matter. Does it matter? But it doesn't matter because if he plays a ten, then I win. So, therefore, don't play around the ten. Uh, plus big, big, plus uh, summon a bunch of guys. Yeah, none of those would work. It's not a valid target. Oh my god, the Reno nightmare. I'm like thinking, is this a card? Is this a hand I would have kept? I think the answer is yes. Yeah, it's a not a great hand, but it's a good hand. Just turned into. Eh, did that get better? Got a little bit better. This was a good three play, but having the option is really good. Keep 
it's getting better and better with uh, better options presented. Look at that desert spear, it's gonna slay. Although, yeah. Block a crawler for this is also not a bad deal. And I can use a desert spear to clear this. But probably better to hold the desert. Or... Wait a second, I can save the locust if I do this right. I hadn't expected to be able to get so many attacks in with a uh, quicksand elementals effect, so that was really good. And then I was thinking about, it would be nice to clear both of those, but it's also good to, you know, just create one once. That was cool. Surprise. Don't pick. You might miss it. Nice card. My spear! 5 2 is a really good target. Even a hero power. Minor benefit. I've got them fairly low, so we can start just steady shotting them down, which is always nice. Ah, great. Versus? <laughs> Jaina! You asked for it. Let's go, huh? Begin. Okay, Coin Wild Tamer and a Basilisk is pretty solid. See a Basilisk, copy a Basilisk. Basilisk. Reno might actually be useful against this guy. That's an aggressive open. Ugh. It's fine, I guess. Eh. Like, I don't really want Basilisk against the boar, I suppose. It'll be slow tempo if you fire blast this. But slow tempo turn for him. How is that bug a 1 1? Bugs are scary. It's on a green. My immersion. Oof, charging beta arrow. That's pretty sweet. I 
Take two. Oddly, no hesitation for what was a potentially tough play. I can punch it with the Desert Spear and Baited Arrow. I'm frozen, but I get a 2-2 two -two and a 6-6. Six -six. I think this line's best. Could also have rushed this guy and then healed this guy. Maybe that would have been better. But that's one of the best targets to hit with the uh, baited arrow. But the plus, but the locust is not always a two-two. It's it's close, I think. He's close play. Key. Ooh. Ah, crap, I forgot to take a screenshot. 